to say welcome. Uh, President Obama said Prime Minister Aso's visit to the White House is testimony to the strong partnership between the United States and Japan. The alliance that we have is the cornerstone of security in East Asia. Uh, it's one that my administration wants to strengthen. Uh, we think that we have an opportunity to work together not only on issues related to uh, the Pacific Rim, but throughout the world. Mr. Obama said Japan is one of America's strongest economic partners. He said it is also a great partner on issues like climate change in Afghanistan. Mr. Aso said Japan and the U.S. must cooperate to solve critical global problems. Both countries are struggling with a recession. We are the number one and second biggest uh, economy of the, of the world. We will have to work together, hand in, hand in hand. The Obama administration is reaffirming the importance of Washington's relationship with Japan, even as Mr. Aso's domestic approval ratings have plummeted. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton visited Japan last week at the start of her first overseas trip as the top U.S. diplomat. One immediate issue for the United States and Japan is how to press North Korea to halt its nuclear weapons programs. On Tuesday, North Korea's official media said Pyongyang is making brisk headway on preparations to launch a communications satellite. Many countries believe the move is really a test of North Korea's long-range missile capability. State Department spokesman Robert Wood warned North Korea to live up to its commitments made in six-party nuclear talks and to honor UN resolutions. UN Security Council Resolution 1718 prohibits the North from engaging in ballistic missile-related activities. And whether it's uh, a space launch vehicle or a missile, some of the building blocks for, uh, you know, developing a space launch vehicle and for, uh, you know, producing uh, long-range missiles are similar. Wood said North Korea should stop using intimidation and threats. He said they are not helpful for regional stability. Leita Hong Fincher, VOA News.